Now often what you see when you're looking at a Visio diagram is also something called a line jump. Let's take this connector and let's reconnect this point to this particular shape here so that these two lines cross over. If I just increase my magnification so you can see easily, you can see there's a line jump because this line goes over the top of the line underneath it. If I don't want to show line jumps, what I'll do is I'll go to the design tab in my ribbon and I'll click the connectors button. In the very last option here, you can untick it and if you untick it, it won't show the line jumps for that particular connector. If I do want to see that as a line jump, I'll go back to the button and ask it to show line jumps. You can also control the look of the line jump and you can also decide that you don't want to see them at all or only on horizontal lines, only on vertical lines, in all sorts of settings. If you want to control line jumps full stop, then from the design tab, hit the page setup dialog box launcher. When you go to the layout and routing tab at the top here, you can control how line jumps behave and look. For example, I might decide let's start with a line jump style. Instead of an arc, which is what we currently have here, I might ask for a square. If I ask for a square and then click apply, you can see the line jump is now a square line jump. If I go back to the line jump style, I could change it to perhaps a gap and apply that. And you can see the line jump is now a gap. So you can change the style of line jump and I'll just put it back to an arc and apply. The other thing you can do is say add line jumps only to horizontal lines or add line jumps only to vertical lines and so on and so forth. So you can really control your line jumps. You can even control the horizontal and the vertical size of your line jumps. And I'll click OK.